for Closed, so Sammy and I are taking a walk. And boy, oh boy, do trees always mesmerize me. They're such amazing, lively beings or things, plants, thingies. This area is so pretty. Guys, I hear a waterfall. Apparently, there's gonna be a waterfall here somewhere, and I hear it. I'm so excited. I love waterfalls. Sammy, do you like waterfalls? Do you like waterfalls? Yes? Yes! Oh, I actually thought that it keeps going, but it stops here. And apparently... Oh, there it is! There it is!
Yay, the coffee came in. Wait, let me, I need scissors, I need scissors. Yes, one of my favorites. The best, the best coffee ever. Thanks, mom. Easing back into it. So this is my lunch. Doing breakfast. After workout breakfast. This is my breakfast today. It's not very glorious. It's coffee with two eggs, chicken fritters, Half an avocado with some nutritional yeast and um, everything bagel seasoning. And this is garlic avioli. avioli. Um, but it's not always as glorious and fun to be on keto. Sometimes I like it. I like it whenever I step on the scales and it goes down. <laughs> that's, that's my only favorite time of the keto. I gotta cook lunch um, and I think I'm gonna try doing cheesy broccoli cauliflower dish that I um, saw on Pinterest um, fingers crossed it's gonna work out so gross, dude. This is my dinner. It is um, ground beef, organic, and then cabbage, some tomato sauce and tomato paste, and some sprinkled cheese on top. It is really, really, really yummy. I just took the middle because it's the best part. I'm so excited to try this. Oh my gosh. This is so good. She says she was gathering great intel. This is such a fast meal. And it doesn't have a lot of calories, doesn't have a lot of it's just so good. It's like cheese, cabbage, and meat. My new go-to. My new go-to. We've been playing for like eight, nine hours now. <laughs> We're ready to go. Yes! Woo!
me and Sammy, we're on for a daily walk. And Sammy likes it because he gets snacks. Sammy, do you get snacks when you go with me? Starbucks snacks. I feel like that's the only reason he goes with me. I forgot how much I love these drives. My soul is rejoicing, guys. If this is not one of the most beautiful scenes, I might need to come over there and talk to you. <laughs> it's just so beautiful. If you ever need a, some thinking time and you're in Washington area, the Vista Point Drive mountain area, gorgeous, gorgeous. Are you playing with a stick? Yeah. This is childhood right here. <laughs> Thank you. Professional chefs. It does. It's like uh, oil, olive oil infused coffee. Okay. Actually, it's not bad. Hi. Hi, Sammy. Bye. Hi. Welcome back. 
So this concludes my first week back on keto and exercise since vacations. Harder than I thought it would be. Uh, the exercise part is a lot easier. The food part, you can essentially only eat like four things like heavy cream, eggs, meat, uh, the vegetables are very limited also. So like, like broccoli, zucchini, and cauliflower <laughs> to stay on top of the things. Um, and berries, only strawberries, blueberries, I'm sorry, blackberries. Um, maybe raspberries, that's about it, honestly. <laughs> Um, oh, and cheese. I can eat cheese. But I was like, um, yeah, I can eat cheese. Um, after about two weeks, um, cheese is expensive and you get tired of cheese. But I'm gonna keep going until I. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Anyhow, um, how is keto affecting me. Sorry, a couple of my friends sent in questions, so I'm reading them off. Uh, honestly, keto is harder mentally than it is physically. Um, I have mental mood swings. Like sometimes I'm like, I don't want to talk to anybody. And other times I'm like so happy and other times I want to cry. <laughs> I've never had that. So I'm getting used to that. Um, it's a lot more, I'm a lot more mellow now I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing I don't know I've been loving my morning routines oh and also keto affects the sleeping pattern too um it's a lot harder to fall asleep and then when you wake up it's like harder to get up usually I'm like spring up and I can I'm ready to go this time it takes like 15 minutes for me to wake up uh I mean I can jump up if I need to but I don't want to I've been trying to go to sleep earlier so I can get used to it, but it's not that e as easy as it came be to before. But I have been loving my morning times. I get up around um, 6.45 a.m., um, make myself some tea, read some Bible, and then I go to the gym area and I walk about a mile, mile and point eight, two miles, whatever I can in the morning because I'm trying to regulate my circadian rhythm so I hope that that's gonna help heal my hormones and my body it's gonna be on the right cycle and everything so hopefully that works I've been doing that for like a month probably two three weeks um, it's getting a lot easier to do that and then I go straight into the workout come home and then eats around 10.30 um, because I'm trying to do intermittent, intermittent fasting alongside keto to help my body lose weight faster. <laughs> um, but I'm very happy. I was just thinking the other day, I was speaking with my brother and he's like, why aren't you more happy about your progress? And I'm like, I'm scared that I'm gonna wake up and, and this is all a dream. <laughs> like, no, you need to be proud of your stuff. I'm like, I know, I know. Uh, but I do want to incorporate um, hiking since it's summer here in Washington now so I want to incorporate doing at least one hike a week maybe two if I can um, that way I can at least see the beautiful things around here <laughs> um, the only awkward part is going by yourself sometimes because some of these hikes are really remote um, so there's nobody around so I guess that's the next thing on my list I can get used to taking hikes by myself Maybe, I don't know, we'll see, we'll see. Um, but yeah, the weight loss is going, I mean, in a couple, in about five pounds, it's gonna be officially a hundred pounds that I've lost since I came to Washington. I guess since I started, it's already been a hundred pounds, but I'm gonna count to since I came to Washington. Um, so I'm pretty excited about that. Uh, getting restless now, wanting, to get it back into a full-time job and full-time schedule and stuff because I'm so used to having my own I don't get me wrong this is a blessing to get to work on my health and everything 
uh, I'm starting to miss my full-time job, my routine and everything. So I'm gonna stay grounded and uh, appreciate what, what I have while I have it. <laughs> but I'll pray extra hard to be content in where I am right now. And I'll see you guys on the next vlog.